water. You're welcome to come. Get something if you like something to eat. I don't know what you, you have here. I guess yeah. Yeah, afterwards we look see what's in there. Let's get Colossians 317. This is what we stand on, this is what we believe in. This is the power, the spiritual power that we have now and that we'll have once the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you operate in the spirit of the most high and his only begotten son of Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Colossians 3.17. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all. Baha Shema Mashek Yavashai. Give it thanks to Yahweh. Baha Shema Mashek Yavashai. So we say Yahweh, but that's his holy name. But well, we'll say the most high. Because God is a European invention. They invented the word God. They invented the word Lord. These are European inventions, names that are in English that he didn't speak English when he came on the earth. He was in the earth in the flesh. When he come back, he's not going to be speaking English. You know, that's why he got it. He's speaking to us now. And he's in stabbering lips, it says. Different languages, because the Israelites are scattered among all nations. Of Negro, Indian, and Latino descent, primarily. The indigenous ones, because everybody that's so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, or Hispanic, are not necessarily Israel. Because all Israel is not of Israel. But we're reaching out for the one-third of the 12 tribes of Israel that's going to hear the call to come back to repent and come back to the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Most High's word and who you are as the children of Israel, the chosen people of the Most High. There's a whole lot of lies been taught on this earth. You know, we can prove this. Get uh, 1 John 4, 1 to 3. Since the first thing you're going to come up here and look at is Caesar Borgia. Let's, let's, let's deal with that. 1 John, the fourth chapter, the third verse. 1 John chapter 4, verse 3. Right. <laughs> and every spirit that confesseth not. No. 1 John 4, verse 1. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. We're not going to believe every spirit. Read. But try the spirits, whether they be of the Most High. We've got to try the spirit. Everybody has a spirit, whether or not they be of the Most High. Read. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Well, many false prophets are gone out into the world. And a lot of you have believed that these false prophets that come on this earth and telling you lies. Read. Hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. This is how you know the spirit of the most high. How you know the spirit of the most high? Every spirit that confesses that Hamashiach El Shai is come in the flesh. How? Come in the flesh. So everybody have flesh, right? If you believe that he came in the flesh, so if he came in the flesh, then he had to have appearance. He had to look like somebody. Just like every last one of us look like somebody, right? Oh, God. Okay, go ahead. Is of the most high. Is of the most high. You believe he came in the flesh. You are of the most high, read. And every spirit that confesses not that a Masha Gosha is come in the flesh. Just like the brother just came up here earlier, talking about he don't care what color he was, he, he, even if he was green. I ain't never seen no green man. Except for with the green hornet us. <laughs> you know, he's some kind of monster, some kind of cartoon or something. Well, come on, man. Come on now. Y'all seen green people before? No, anybody see no green people, man? And that's that's how ignorant is how 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 we lack knowledge, man, and realizing that he, when he came on the earth, we gotta see how he look. Read it again, how he, what he says. Every spirit that confesses not that a Masha Gosha is coming to flesh, like he say, no matter what color he is, read, is not of the Most High. Because your flesh is your skin, your skin, right? He say you're not of the Most High if you don't believe that he came in the flesh. Right? Go ahead. And this is that spirit of the anti masiyah You're against him. You're against him. That's what it said. It's the spirit of someone that's against him. Read. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. So now we got it. We have to go to how. What, what book is that? That's 1 John 4, verse 1 to 3. The King James 1611 Bible, the authorized version. I'm going to say, you're going to hear things today that you've never heard before because the, the preachers are not teaching you the truth. You're telling them all the time. Let's, look, let's see how he look. Revelation 1 and 1. Where are you reading from? John, 1 John. 1 John 4, 1 to 3. Now we're going to show you the description of him. This is important. It's very important. Or else you anti-Mashiach. You against him. 
Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The okay. revelation of Hamashiach Yahushua. But we're revealing him. That's the revealing of the anointed saint. What we call Hamashiach Yahushua, the anointed saint. You know? Read. Which the Most High gave unto him. Right, so jump to verse 13. Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man. These are the seven churches that's bringing forth the light of the bringing forth the laws to the seven churches that were scattered in Asia Minor. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a garment down to his foot. A long garment on. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle around his waist. His head and his hairs were white like wool. How was his head? White like wool. What was the hair on his head? White like wool. White like what? Wool. So the woolly hair is the nappy hair. None. So that man got nappy hair, his hair looked white? No. It was white like wool. The texture of it was like woolly hair, nappy hair. Right? Me? As white as snow. Just like my brother here. You look at it right now, right in your face. Just like this. You look at it from a distance, it looks white, right? It looks white. Jump to verse 15. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. And his feet. Now, you know, your feet is the same color as your whole body. But how does feet look? Like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Brass is driven to a brown, green. As if they burn in a furnace. As if it burn in a furnace. You burn anything in the furnace, what color it turn? Very, very dark. He was a very, very dark skinned man. Huh? That no, no, they say that's a, it's a tradition of him all of a sudden looking at that. See what I'm saying? We just give you, it's like that right there, part of, that's why you, it brings attention, right? Picture went for what? A thousand words. So everybody coming up here looking at that. They ain't said nothing else, but they're looking at that picture. You see what I'm saying? But it says he, he, says he looked like fine brass would be burned in the furnace. Now, Daniel seen him. Daniel had a vision of him. But see, they teach you that in the church, are they? You should already know this. We should already know this. Going to church, they should be revealing him because it says, if you don't reveal him and you don't believe he comes in the flesh, then you anti-Christ. You're against him. Right? We just read that. That's why he wanted to know what that scripture was. So now, go to Daniel 10, 5, and 6. He's seen a vision of him also. Read that. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. Daniel have a vision of Hamashiach Yahushua, the anointed Savior of the world, also called Jesus Christ. Read. His body also was like the pearl. No. It says his body was like the pearl. Now, we look up the word pearl in the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. You have a Zondervan Compact Dictionary? If you look at the, the word pearl, because we didn't done our research, we're not standing before you and not knowing what we're talking about, but we challenge anyone to come forward with it, whatever you believe in, we'll see if it coincides with the Bible. Right. So the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, we went into there, and we found out what the word pearl means. It says his body, your body, was like the pearl. What does pearl mean? When you come up looking up, look at these scriptures, or whatever it is that we're defining yourself. That's the word. Pearl. All right. Be safe out there, man. Brown. What does brown, brown mean? Brown. What it mean? Brown. So his body was what? Brown. You can look at look at that for yourself. It says his body was like the pearl. So what does pearl mean? B E R. Slow down now. B E R Y L. What does it mean? Brown. Brown. So he ain't brown. <laughs> he ain't brown. And he ain't dark skin, is no. no way. You don't like you burned in the furnace, right? No. No, okay. See, that's what we got to bring it for. Go ahead. Right. Next. His body also was like the burl. Now, you know, we just showed you that burl means brown, read. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Now, get Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. It says his face as the appearance of lightning. Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Come on. We have food for you and drink. You like something to eat? Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 1. Right. Who is as the wise man 
and who knows the inter interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. So it says a, a man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. If you know someone, you say, wow, that's a bright child. That's what we say in our general conversation concerning a child that's very intelligent. Go back to Daniel, 10th chapter, 6th verse. Daniel chapter 10, verse 6. My birthday. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Because he had all this wisdom fire. coming from him, read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Because he's very angry. With the things that's being done on this earth, all the wickedness that's being done, how they don't care about nobody, they don't care about the old, they don't care about the young, they don't care about the poor, the needy. Really. I mean, it's, they have enough money here in Los Angeles that nobody should be homeless. Huh? You should have a place to live. You should have a place of your own. We worked, we worked and built this place, man. Our ancestors worked and built this place. Free. With no pay. No pay, man. They took our land. We was on this land. This is our land. They took our land from us and put us in slavery. That's what happened. That's why Mashiach Yahushua, he's coming back. He's the only one that's coming back who the world falsely called Jesus Christ. That's what I want to go into. Give me uh, Acts, the first chapter. Because he died and he rose on the third day. Like y'all just went through Easter. Come on, they tell you that he died on Friday and he rose on the third day. Now you come from Friday to Sunday, how many days you get? Two days. He, they say he died on Friday, they call it Good Friday. They say he rose on the third day, that's Monday. But they celebrate his, his, his resurrection on Sunday and tell you that he, he died on a, sun, on a Friday, excuse me. Right? Two days later is Sunday. But see, we don't think right. We don't think. We just program to think just the way they've been programmed us to think. Right. Without our, losing our own mind, even count. From Friday to Sunday is two days. So give me that Acts the first chapter. Acts chapter 1, verse 1. Right. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Hamashiach Yahshua began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up. Right. After that, he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, right. to, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days. But once he died and rose on the third day, brother seen him 40 days. He was on earth 40 days. Really? And speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of the Most High. Speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of the Most High. That's coming here on this earth for the children of Israel, who we are. Really? And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. That's right, man. That promise was that he will send the Holy Spirit. Come on. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. See, there it is. So they will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the might, and the strength of the Most High. That's what the Holy Spirit is. To bring all things back to your remembrance, to your mind. That's what we're bringing forth today. Huh. The Holy Spirit. Read. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Read. When they therefore were come together. That's what they asked. Him. They asked of him, saying, Mashiach, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Uh -huh. To Israel? Hear that? Will you explain? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? That's who we are. We the Israelites. Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? That's who we are. Not everybody. So that you know this kingdom that's coming on the earth is coming to who? Israel. Israel. That's who we are. We the Israelites. We the Hebrew Israelites. You hear what he said? Read it again, huh? Listen at this very close. They ain't teach you this. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him. He's been on earth 40 days. What they asked? Masiyah, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? He's going to restore the kingdom to Israel. That's who we are. We the Israelites. 
What did he say? Did he say no? The kingdom come to all nations. What did he say? And he said unto them, uh -huh. It is not for you to know. He says, Not for you to know what the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. You know, let nobody tell you that the Mashiach Yahweh who the world falls because Jesus Christ is over here, he's over there, <laughs> he's with this pope person, he's with that camp, he's with this church. No. The Most High put it in his hand. It's in the Most High's hand when he's going to bring back a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Send him back to restore the kingdom to Israel. Read. But ye shall receive power. What did he say? You shall receive power. So you'll receive power. This power is spiritual power. When? After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Right. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Because everybody don't have the Holy Spirit. A lot of people don't. All right, brother. Everybody don't have the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. You go up in the church, you run around like a chicken with his head cut off. Oh, he's shouting and all that stuff. That ain't the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. The people doing that, the must check out with shouts in front of him. He's like, come out of her, Satan. Come out of him, Satan. Come on, man. Think about it, man. You go up in the chair, they running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Foaming at the mouth. Foaming at the mouth and all that. That's not, that's not the spirit. That's the most I gonna sit back here to bring all things back to remember to have you running around like the chicken with his head cut off? That ain't the Holy Spirit. Come on. Read on. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem. And in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. See that devil? <laughs> all right, brother. All right. Yeah. 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 Huh? Go back to Revelation 1, in the first chapter. 666. 666. That's Jesus, right? Yeah. That's Jesus. Jesus. That's right. That's wrong, man. Yeah. He didn't look like that. You know, if you, we done went through it, he don't look like that, man. But that's what they have in the church. That's what they got a lot of people houses and all that, man. That, matter of fact, they had a show on Showtime called and you saw The Four Years. I saw it in Daniel. Yeah, yeah. I saw it too. He yeah. had a uh, face of light. He had yeah. arms. He just, and he just feet, read it. He and he had eyes of fire. That's Jesus they're talking about. Right, right. And the voice of a multitude. That's yeah, right. that's in Daniel. Yeah, he's right. that's what the, and Jesus told him what was going on. No way. No way, no he, way, he it, shape, or arms, form. <laughs> and he said, face of lightning and body of burrow. So you know they're saying that. Burrow is proud. And, uh, no, burl they, is proud. He, see, he sees a vision. Let me show you what burrow means. So we just went over this. Just now. This is what you have, The complex, it's not a very compact Bible dictionary. Burrow, B-E-R-Y-L, brown. Body like the pearl. But he said, Polish, yeah. Arms and his feet was Polish brown. Oh, oh, yes. yes. Bro, let's tell you that you look like a bird in a furnace. Bird in a furnace. Bird in a furnace. Bird in a furnace. That's brown. Dark, man. Very dark. Very dark, Very dark skin. So get Revelation 1 and read verse uh, 3. Revelation. Yeah. Revelation chapter right, 1, right, verse right, 3. Right. Blessed is he that read it. What did he say? Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that what? Read it. That read it, man. What did it tell you? You want to keep something from us? Where you put it at? In a book. In a book. But what did the Master Yaqya was trying to say? Blessed is he that read it. Blessed is he that read it. That's why we done read. We done done a lot of reading. Vatican Church. To bring forth this truth, read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Yeah, they that hear the words of this prophecy. And we prophesy about, prophesy about the second coming. Jump to verse 7. Verse 7. Behold, he cometh with cloud. He gonna come. He the only one that's coming on this earth. This black man. Solomon had rocks too. Yeah. So he, he said he's coming, he's Solomon. coming, he's coming. From the fourth dimension to the third dimension. To this dimension here that we in now. To bring forth righteousness on this earth. Read. And every eye shall see him. Don't worry about nobody saying he's over here, he's over there. What did it say? Every eye shall see him. Every eye gonna see him when he come back. Read. And they also which pierced him. And they also which what? Pierced him. They also which pierced him. Who pierced Christ? All right, brother. Who pierced him? The Romans, the so-called Italian Caucasian, because they were the superpower of the earth at the time. The so-called white man. He the one that put him on the tree. Say they also that prison. A lot of you piercing him now. If you if you don't believe what we read it from the Bible as him being a so-called black man. But one thing about it, he ain't coming back as a man. Uh -huh. Get that in Isaiah 47 and 3. He's not coming back as a man. He's coming in his angelic spiritual power from the most high. Read that. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 3. Right. Isaiah 47 and 3. Read it. 
Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So it says all the nakedness of the wicked going to be uncovered. They're going to be exposed for all the wickedness that's being done on this earth. Right now, they're trying to decide whether a man and a man could get married here in California. Uh -huh. Or a woman and a woman could get married here in California. That's wickedness. You wouldn't be here if your mama or your daddy was a homosexual or a lesbian. Think about it. But yet still, that's too much to think about, right? Uh -huh. But you're going you're gonna to condone that. And you got children. Your children will grow up and say, oh, I'm going to be with a man. It's a boy. Your boy going to grow up to be with another man when he get up. You ain't going to have no grandchildren. Or your daughter gonna be with another a woman? How are you gonna have grandchildren? Yeah, Mosiah made man and woman. He made man and woman. He said we populate the earth. You know? Yeah, that, that. What's that? So you so you get uh, Romans one and twenty five. Huh? Romans. He, he made them like that. He made them like that. He only chose Israel. Let's read that. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Let's see what he say about lesbians. Read this. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? Who changed the truth of the Most High, according to the Bible, into a lie? Read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Worship and serve idols and the things that this word has brought forth more than the creator, the Most High. Read. Who is blessed forever. Uh-huh, come on. For this cause, the Most High gave them up to vile affection. So this, what we can really talk about is a vile affection. Most I gave these people up to a vile affection, read. For even their women, even who? Their women, even their women, read. Did change the natural use, change the natural use, read. Into that which is against nature. Right. Women change the natural use into that which is against nature, meaning women with women. That's what it's talking about. That's a vile affection. Gun. According to the Most High. Read. And likewise also the men. Also who? The men. Also the men. Read. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Leaving the natural use of a woman. How a man gonna like another damn man? Give me a break. That's a vile affection. The men leaving the natural use of the woman. Read. Burned in the lust. Burned in the lust. Read. One toward another. One toward another. Leviticus 20 and 13 says, if a man lay, if a man lie with a mankind of he shall a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. That's why you got all these AIDS, all these blood diseases here. Behind men and men and women with women. Now jump to verse 32 of Romans 1 and 32. Let's see what it says. Because a lot of y'all say it's okay, as long as it don't bother me. Y'all got gay friends and so forth. Let's see what the most I say concerning you. Romans chapter Three. 1, verse 32. Right. Who knowing the judgment of the most high? Knowing the judgment of the most high. What's the judgment of the most high? They should be put to death. That's a foul affection. We just read it. I just gave it to you. Read. That they which commit such things. They that commit such things as men with men and women with women. Read. Are worthy of death. Are worthy of what? Death. Are worthy of death. That's what the scriptures say. Read. Not only do the same. Not only do the same. Read. But have pleasure in them. All that you have pleasure in them that's with that's dealing with men with men and women with women. Read. That do them. Yeah. Both of y'all deserve death for sin. Don't think you get away with the most. That's why I say you come up and talk about the most. I love everybody. He don't love everybody. He don't love everybody. That's why you see all this killing on the earth. You know, all the things that's happening on the earth. Showing you he don't love everybody. Come on, go back to Revelation, first chapter. Read verse 7 again. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. So he, he, he like most, the power that we serve, he create evil. Mm. He the one that create evil. Yeah. Isaiah 45 and 7, you're looking strange. Let's, Isaiah 45 and 7, let's see what he said. See, that's the problem. We don't know, as a people, we don't know this Bible. Because ain't nobody telling you what it is. And we the chosen people of the most high. We scattered among all nations. So it's not about appearance, how you look, no matter how you look, it's about the spirit that's in you. The spirit that's in you gonna reveal whether or not you Israel or not. We know, we know that we got two-thirds of our people that's just like me, look just like us, that's here, that's wicked as hell. God. Gonna be put to death. God. So it ain't about people look at, okay, we say Negro, Indian, Latino descent, we scattered among all nations. We don't look like anybody. Now, if you don't want to be Israel, and you want to be the wicked, be the wicked. Uh -huh. You're going to be put to death. Uh -huh. 
That's how I go. That's what the Most High talking about. Read. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Read. I form the light. Osai say he formed the light. Read. And create darkness. And create darkness. Read. I make peace. He make peace. Read. And create evil. And what? Create evil. And what? Create evil. What the Most High do? Create evil. For everything in the earth, the Most High is worthy to be praised for. He the one that create evil. Get up, Proverbs 16 and 4. Right, you still create evil, so you got to know what's right and wrong, so you don't do evil, okay? Come on. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. Right. The Most High hath made all things for himself. He made everything for himself. Read. Yeah, even the wicked. Even the who? The wicked. Even the wicked. Read. For the day of evil. Here we are now. He said he made the wicked for the day of evil. Um, and we in the day of evil. Don't you feel hell down here? Uh, this don't feel like hell? <laughs> this hell, man. That's why the Most High calling you. He gonna bring you out of this, man. But we got next. Uh, we got next. The rule is baby forever and ever and ever. And righteous. And all the things that y'all have done, that you have done, your people have done, you gonna pay for it. Uh, y'all gonna pay for it. Mm. Straight up. Mm, hallelujah. You smile all you want to, but when the most high bring his wrath down, ain't gonna be no smiling. <laughs> Go back to Revelation 1 and 7. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Ain't gonna be no smiling in the day, man, when he bring this wrath on. Read. Behold, he cometh with cloud. You know, he's coming. He's coming in the chariots of the most high. Hold that. Get Psalms 104 and 3. We coming in the clouds. What's the clouds? That's why, so you get understanding of the Bible, precept upon precept. That's why you see us going different places to identify or, or give a definition of what the Bible is saying, because this answers itself. Psalms 104 and 3. Psalm chapter 104, verse 3. Who led the bees of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? So the clouds are a vehicle of the angels. So he's coming back in the clouds. The vehicles are the most high and the angels. Go back to uh, Revelation 1 and 7. So now that we know the clouds are the chariots, the so-called white men call them UFOs. We call them, they, really, they call them unidentified flying objects. But they're identified flying objects, huh. IFO. Huh. They name them that, you know what I mean? They, they call them UFOs, we call them IFOs. Like we just identify what they are from the Bible. That's why we sung the song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Coming before they carry me home. I looked over what? Jordan, which is in Israel. And what did I see? A band of angels coming for me. 200,000, thousand, 200 million angels coming for us. Y'all ready for that? 200 million angels coming for us. To redeem us from this wicked place, man instead of righteousness on this earth. God. And we're going to rule forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's what this <laughs> message is about, man. Hallelujah. That's why they killed the prophets, because what they said didn't happen. But it's going to happen. Could happen in our time. The way things are escalating now, for the prophecies to be fulfilled. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Uh -huh. Behold, he cometh with clouds. So the clouds are the IFOs, identified flying objects, what they call flying saucers. But we call them identified flying objects. The chariots are the most high, the angels that's coming, read. And every eye shall see him. Don't worry about somebody telling you he's over here, because it says what? Every eye shall see him. Every eye going to see Hamashiach got shot. Hamashiach got shot when he comes back. The anointed Savior when he comes back, read. And they also which pierced him. They also which pierced him. That's why when somebody come up here telling me it don't matter what he looked like, <laughs> if he was green, <laughs> purple, I mean, that's mockery. God. Ain't seen no green and purple people unless they done beat, beat down <laughs> to the God. utmost of, you know what I mean? That's God. when they turn purple, right? right. Come on, not naturally. God. Ain't nobody running around here purple and green. God. No Martians. I mean, that's like, they're going to stand up here and argue with us. It don't matter how he look. It do matter how he look, because they, they, if it didn't matter, why they painting white? Why you paint Caesar Borgia, right? The son of Rodrigo Borgia. I mean, that, if it didn't matter, that's what we got to tear down. Because he wasn't a white man. He was a brother. Just like me, just like you, just like all the rest of us. That's here. B. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Everybody gonna be crying because of him. 
But they talking about, oh, I can't wait till he come back. Oh, when he come back, it'll be a joyous time. He said, everybody gonna be quiet when he come back. <laughs> Man, he coming back to jail, you make what? He ain't playing. He not playing, man. Give me uh, Matthew 26 and 24. Why did he make all this stuff? Huh? Why did he make all this stuff? He made them for his purpose. Like I just said, he made them for the day of you. He made them for the time. You really want to know? You really want to know. You really want to know. Give me a uh, second answer. Ninth chapter, 22nd verse. Slide them there me. I talked a lot of them there me. Yes. They just keep asking me for that reason. I know. That's okay. Read that. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 22. I want to know why he made all these people. Let's see what he said he's going to do. Read. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept. Hear what he said? He said, hold up, slow down now. Born in vain? Read it, read it again, because you got to slow down, because he got to hear what you said, because that's, that's what he heard. Read, read Second again. Ezra, chapter 9, verse 22. Uh-huh. Let the multitude perish then. Let the multitude of all the people perish then. That was what? Which was born in vain. Born in vain. God. Born in vain, man. That's what it is. Made, made, he made, made people come in here for the number. That's what it's like the multitude of the people perish then that was born in vain. You don't even know these people. So they don't have a chance. <laughs> no, some people don't have a chance. Some people do, though. You know, because every nation going to be in the kingdom. Just like we got a position in this kingdom, every nation going to have a position in our kingdom. Well, it is just a change of the guard. So you see what I'm saying? Kids, you know, huh? Aren't you, he's talking about the devil's kids. The devil's kids and those that are wicked. You know what I mean? That don't want to come back to the truth. And those that don't come to the truth, they're going to go into the kingdom and they're going to be slaves. Point blank, go else with us, just like we we in captivity right now. Do you feel like you're free? Do you feel like you can do whatever you want to do? Don't you feel like it should be something that you should be benefiting from a, a nation that has all this money? He said they'll never have an eternal life. Nah. The wicked will never have eternal life. Huh. They never uh, the wicked gonna be done away with. You're gonna get rid of them. You're gonna cast them into the lake of fire. Point yeah. blank. Yeah. For everybody to be righteous, right. they're gonna be cast into the lake of fire. We're gonna be cast into the lake of fire. That's so you ain't gotta worry about that. That's why, that's why if the nations, 